I grew up in a single mother household. My mom never went to college. It was an expectation that me and my sister were going to go to college and also that we were going to at least get a master's. Four years ago, uh, my mom unexpectedly passed away. And so every single day, I tried to live my life being just a sliver of the type of person that she was. My parents immigrated here and my parents supported me, but it was also really challenging just trying to go through school alone. I grew up in a really small town in Southern Illinois, very farming focused community. And so because of that, I don't have a huge uh, support system that knows a lot about my PhD. The first two years at Georgia Tech were honestly very tough. Grad school can be very lonely. One of the problems the United States faces is we don't have enough students going into science. We have students from all over the world. We get tremendous talent, but we also need to have more students from the United States pursuing advanced research. As we all know, STEM is everywhere. Like everything that we do in our lives is being touched in some form or fashion by STEM. And so I find it very important in the future that we're educating more people in these spaces so that they're not just being consumers of technology, but producers as well. Without funding support, you risk losing these scientists to non-scientific endeavors. Without the, the funding, these students might be looking elsewhere for their future. In 1958, a group of women volunteers created a unique partnership between science and society. This was the beginning of ARC's foundation, which became a model for women's philanthropy for science education. The Atlanta chapter has provided over six and a half million dollars for over 1,000 individual scholar awards. My second year here, I was selected to be an ARC's scholar, and I was so ecstatic. Getting the ARC scholarship, I think, was a pretty pivotal point in my career. I think it really made me realize that there were people there to, to support me in science. Financial security is one of those things that gives me peace of mind, not just in order to kind of progress my research, but just to live as a human <laughs> and progress as a person. BlackRock Atlanta's partnership with the ARCS Foundation started in early 2020, where we sponsored six ARC scholars. For us, it's about recruiting the best and brightest talent, and innovation is one of the key ways that we can continue to meet our clients' needs. The ARCS Award does more than give our scholars the money to pursue their research. It also gives them the knowledge that there is an unbiased community that believes they and their research will change the world.